Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. Today we are going to try to conclude our mission in Bunker Hill and as you may know we recently experienced a bug where it wouldn't allow us to continue because we hadn't dealt with the synths that we were supposed to save. Um, so we had to kill them. Okay, so now it's telling me to go up. Yep, go up. All right, we'll do. 22 meters. Oh, it's telling me I'm too far away. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand game. I don't understand what you want from me. Oh. Wait. What is this? Oh, I am such a moron. I am such a moron. Oh my god. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Because I just saw this, and... I can't believe I didn't... Okay, so here's what's going to go on. I am going to go back... Let's close that door there. And... I'm going to go back to a previous save in which I didn't murder the people that I let go. And I'm going to just walk this way. Instead of going up those stairs, I'm just going to go around this corner. Because this is the way you go to get up to the roof. And I am such a moron. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with this scent. Still alive. They're all alive. The guy is dead. Yay! And so we're going to go back over there to the institute, I mean, to the CIT ruins, and we're going to, uh, hey, jump over, jump over, oof, uh, there might be Nick, but I don't care, and then we're going to go back, oh man, I'm I can't believe all I needed to do was literally turn to the right and keep going in a straight line. Oh, and now that stupid green thing is back. I feel, I feel so stupid. Like, why didn't I just... I don't know. The point is, we figured it out. And we didn't have to kill the people we were trying to save in the first place. So I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Although, I wonder if I didn't do anything with the railroad. Like, if I had just stuck with the Minutemen and been like, you know what? Well, you're lost, lady. If I could have still saved the um the 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 synths who were there I'm thinking I could have I think I think um like if I just went down there and uh not attacked the any other railroad guys like I think the option would have come up to to let them go but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna get it done don't worry guys because um, we're the best that is a true fact of life no one can dispute that and we always I don't know I'm just I'm still flabbergasted that I I didn't see 
literally just turn to the right and go straight down this hallway. And then, oh look, it goes up. Like I didn't even know this. Um, I feel so stupid. But, you know, live and learn. And, uh, that's why you keep multiple saves. So you can go back. And, um, it is a video game. This is not real life. There he is. Hey, father. What's up, bruh? What's up? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here, I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup, did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go You're wrong... You're so... If I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time, that's, well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I, well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you, as it has everything else? Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. This is science to you? <laughs> it's pathetic, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Perhaps in time you'll see it differently. Soon, I hope. I hope. You'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. You are completely insane, dude.
Like, I... Oh, man. Like, the Institute, like, I get it. You are you have great science, and you want to share that with the world, except you don't. You don't want to share it with the world. You want to keep your little group of people in your little bunker alive, and you want to go out and... and and pick fights with people. I don't. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. All right. So, what did he want us to do? Attend directorate meeting. All right. Sure. We'll do that. I guess. You know what? I'm just thinking. No, I'll. Uh, I'll think. I just, man, the Institute is a trip. I'll tell you what, like, they have the technology to make the world outside, to make the outside world better, right? But they don't want to. They just want to... And, I don't know. I don't like that whole, like, oh, we're trying to make the world a better place, but we're not actually doing anything about it. And the whole idea of, like, our way is the only way. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who's like that. Maybe I'm too attached to the old world. And Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's, uh, it's important. I wonder if all of you are just synths and you don't know it. That's what I think. I think you're not even a real human. Quote, father. I think you might just be a synth and you don't know it. Hey, shut up. Don't make excuses. You're clearly a victim, and I intend to report you. Perhaps we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, all right. excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. Okay. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. All Institute facilities oh. remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they sit down. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Fort Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase two? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, uh, yes. Have you heard anything about phase three? Who, me? Uh... I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. Not I'm really. Not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromise? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply 
The activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. Ooh, okay. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Um, okay, here's the question. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war. But was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that... I don't understand. Discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult. Are you dying? Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. You're dying. I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone... Please, I am sorry. Hmm. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Did you use a stem right now, pack? The future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. Okay. This will conclude this meeting. If Thank I am the leader of the Institute... Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crop. The Institute is my life. I hope it'll be yours too. Shush. So here's the question. If I am now the leader of the Institute, can I tell them to stop trying to fight the railroad and to what sent... Hello, I don't think so. I hope your time in the Institute has been enjoyable. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Okay, you say this, and you say all this stuff, but I'm not really reassured that... Like, if I'm the leader of the Institute, I need to be able to... It must make you proud to see all your father has done. All that he has built. I've heard stories. On the surface, it sure sounds scary. It's scary. It's fun. It's the best. 
Of course, you wouldn't think that. All right, let's speak with this woman and see this what she wants. You, well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. I need some details here. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Of course, that's why we're talking. Otherwise, you'd be up top already. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Okay. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I've promised to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you going to put up a stink, or can we get moving? No. Wh whatever. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Whatever. As much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece, I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so, uh, you know what? We're going to end it off there, guys, because I need to think. I need to think about what's going on, what I'm going to do here. Are we going to help the Institute? They said I could be the leader, and... But will I be able to affect change and actually bring the Institute technology up to the surface and help everyone? Or am I just going to help the few people Father, that live here? See, Harvey. Synth, he human, 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 human. Let's see, I feel Sounds like there's good. probably not as many humans down here as there are since anyway guys I will see you later I'm gonna save real quick I'm gonna make a new save because I'm paranoid now of making a wrong decision and uh, and yeah I will I'll see you later guys all right thanks for watching and uh yeah, I'm going to think about what I need to do. And then we'll do that next time. Okay, seriously. Bye.